Hey everyone, this is Kristen from Kissing Our Brains and K on Instagram, and I am here to provide you a Class Dojo one on one tutorial. So, what you're looking at right now is um, what you will see when you type in classdojo.com on your browser. If you are brand new to Class Dojo, you will go right here to sign up. If you already have an account like I do, you will see where it says, Welcome back, Kristen, come on in. So if you do not have an account, feel free to sign up. Otherwise, we're going to head on in. And I am going to show you how to create a class from the very beginning. So what you will see, um, you will see demo class right here. You will not see these other two. Those are my classes. But you will go right here and you will click Add a Class. And I am going to call this class tutorial and I am going to select kindergarten since that is the grade that I teach and you will go right here to add class then what you're going to do is you're going to type your students first and last name so I am going to start typing in a name and you can either just press the return or enter key or you can press this little symbol right here and then it automatically generates a little avatar for your students so I'm going to continue to add a couple more students to the class. Okay, that should be good for now. And once you have finished adding all of your students, you're going to click right here where it says done adding students. And then it says to invite students and parents. You wanna click on get invites. And if you are not near a uh, printer at this time, you can always go back to this step, but you do have to click it initially for it to bring it up. But I will show you how to go back to it if you're not near a printer right now. These are the papers that you will hand out to your students' families so that they know how to get into Class Dojo. It is an app that they can download on their phone but they have to have this access code right here. Without this access code, they cannot get into the classroom. This is a great feature about Class Dojo that it keeps it so secure and that nobody is not allowed to enter it without this special code. So we're going to head on back. Once you're done with that, you will go back to the screen and it, you will click done with invites. And then here is your class. Let's bring this down a little bit. Obviously, yours will be more filled up. I just did a few names just for the sake of this tutorial. So what I'm going to show you are some different features. If you go right here into settings and you go to edit class, this is where you can add students. Say you have a new student that joined your class, you can add the students. Um, you can set up student accounts using QR codes. This is a really great feature that allows students to engage um, on Class Dojo and send different pictures to their individual class story. If you go right here to Parents, this is where if you happen to click out before because you didn't have a printer near you, you can click right here to Get Invites and it'll bring that exact same document up. And you can also click Invite Parents and you can send them an invite directly to their email address as well. Right here is the area I want to talk about. This is skills, and this is the area where the behavior, behavior management component is going to come into place. So students can earn a positive points or they can lose points for needs work, as you can see right here. The nice thing about this is it comes with these set skills for positive, or you can add a skill. So I really like to tie this into things that I'm doing in my class. For example, we do bucket filling in my class and we talk a lot about perseverance and growth mindset and those types of things. So I'm going to show you how to add a skill. You can go right here, click on the circle, and I'm going to type in bucket filling. You can also change the little icon. So I'm going to choose the heart. And you can also choose how many points. It could be from zero to five, however many you want them to earn. I'm just going to set this at one. And then you click save and it pops right up in your dashboard. Down here is where you can choose what points you would like parents to see. They can either see only the positive points that you give students, they could see no points at all, or if you select all points, 
they can see the positive and the needs work. I personally choose the all points because I think it's important for parents to not only see the positive, but to see if there's anything that their student needs to work on. So if we head on over there, there's no skills in the needs work section, and this is where you can completely customize it to your class. Um, each year, I add things to this section according to what my students need. One of the staples that I always do, I work at a PBIS school, so it's a positive behavior um, program. And one of the components of PBIS is a word called kathuti. And what kathuti means, if you're not familiar with it, is keep all hands, feet, and other objects to yourself. So this is an area that I add. So let's add this in real quick. Okay, so I added in kafuti, and then again, you can change this if you want to. I'm going to choose a little caution cone, and then you can choose how many points they're going to lose from kafuti. Again, from zero to five. So I will choose one point, and then I save it. And then I'm going to click the X, and I'm going to show you how this would work. So say, for example, Kurt is being a bucket filler, so I could click on Kurt's name, and I could go in and give him a point for bucket filling. Let me turn that up to make sure that you can hear that. And Kristen is working hard, so she's going to earn a point. Cindy is participating, so she will earn a point. Bob is helping others, so he will earn a point. And Bentley is on task. So as you can see, there's various things that students can earn points, and the nice thing about it is that you can tailor it to the needs of your classroom. Now let's say that Kristen is not following Kafuti, so I'm going to go back in, I'll go to Needs Work, Kafuti, and you can hear that sound. Now that sound can be customized. So if you go back to Settings and you go right here to Display Settings, this is where you can customize it according to what you want for your class. So if you see right here, it says show award notifications and play award sounds. Say you do not want the needs work to be shown on the screen and you also don't want the sound. You only want the positive sounds and the positive points to be shown. So I'm gonna unclick both of those and go to save settings and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So now Kurt is losing a point for Kafuti but nothing happened. It didn't pop up on the screen, you didn't hear the sound, but you can see right here that he did lose his one point. So again, it's completely customizable to what you would like for your class. A great feature about Class Dojo is you can click random, and a student randomly pops up. This one happened to be Cindy, and this is great for you to use. Um, we all know that it's, we have those students that it's easy to always give them points, and it's more difficult to find positive things for other students to earn. So this is a great feature to use if you click random to remind you to always be looking for the positive in um, what students are doing during the day. So I'm gonna click out of random and then I'm going to briefly show you the attendance feature. I personally don't use this because my school district has an online attendance system that keeps track of attendance for me. So. I would just see this as one more um, area, one more thing to do during the day. So I choose to not, but it is a neat feature if you do not already have an online system that keeps track of your attendance for you. So if all of the, the whole circle is green, it means the student is there for the day. If it's red, they are absent. If it's yellow, it means that they were tardy. And if it's half yellow, half green, it means that they left early. So that is a neat feature that you can use. And another area that I'm going to show you is the timer down here. So I use a timer in my class when I am doing rotations with my students. So all I have to do is go down here. I can customize it. Say I'm doing a 15 minute rotation. I type in 15. Let me just slide this over to make sure you can see the whole thing. You press start and it's counting down. It's not just super distracting for the students, but it also gives them that little visual that some of your students may need and gives a visual for me as the teacher to keep me on track with our rotations. So I'm going to turn that off for now. Now this is one of my favorite parts about Class Dojo. It is the story section. Obviously nothing is posted on this right now because this is a class that I just created. I'm going to do a separate tutorial where I take you into my actual classroom stories page so I can show you 
um, how great it is to be able to post this information to students, parents, students and parents. So if you go into stories, you can think of it like a Facebook page, but again, remember it's completely secure to your classroom with that access code. So in this section, you can post pictures and different threads to parents and students. I teach kindergarten, so my um, posts are primarily to the parents. And my theory is Class Dojo allows me to bring the classroom to the parents' fingertips. So you have parents that are working full time and they're not able to volunteer in class, but every single day they know exactly what their student did based on the pictures that I'm posting. And I will also give them um, conversation topics for them to ask their child of what they did during the day. So it's not the typical answer of what'd you learn today? Nothing. What'd you do today? Nothing. They can pop up that picture and be like, well, it looks like you did X, Y, and Z. And then it starts that conversation. This next area is private messaging. Again, think of it as Facebook with the private messages in that section. So I can private message the entire class. I can set for it to send at a specific time or I can do it individually to the parents. Now the parents do have to be signed up for you to be able to write to them, but this is the section where you would do that. So that is all that I'm going to cover for this tutorial on Class Dojo one-on-one. -on -one. I will be doing another tutorial where I take you into the toolkit and I also am going to take you this toolkit right down here. I'm going to take you into big ideas and I'm going to pop you over into my personal class to show you how great the story section is. So if that is something that you're interested in, make sure you stay tuned to the next one. Thank you for tuning in.